I'm Cynthia Greer, the author of Spiritually Single in Sickness and Health, A Woman's Guide to Healing at a Soul Level, Twin Flames, Beyond the Veil of Illusion, and the soon-to-be-released sequel of Twin Flames, Beyond the Veil of Illusion. In my work, I talk about getting to the in-depth level of the soul by facing the level of consciousness that the majority of humanity is in that has led our society into the back slidden censored paranoid way of life that we are all forced to live in at this time. If you are a true twin flame, you hold a divine blueprint with your co-creation, your counterpart of a very divine mission that is to be fulfilled at some point. When that time comes is really immaterial at this point. When you are in separation, it is a time of in-depth soul healing. But accepting separation, whether it comes through physical death or through your twin rejecting you because they have chosen a completely different life path and it simply isn't possible, leaves a rent at a soul level that is so overwhelming that it is hard to move forward. Many times in the first stages it will come as the tiredness that is so overwhelming, you simply feel you cannot put one foot in front of the other. You hate your job. You hate dealing with people. You would like to do something that is more of a reflection of your own creativity, yet you can't begin to see your way clear of what that is. On the flip side, you can know your creativity, understand it, and have the ability to hone it to get to the point of mastery level but you become so obsessed with it that you are living a very unbalanced life to the point you are overdoing it many, many hours a day. You are cutting off your communication with your family, with your close friends. That is not adjusting to the twin flame separation. That is only creating more denial instead of confronting the pain that you are in. 
twin flame separation requires great healing at a soul level in order to proceed with that mission during the time of the absence from one another. And many believe that it cannot be accomplished. But what you must remember is that whether your twin flame has crossed on or whether they are in physical form, there are lessons that they are being given through the experiences they are having that are opening them to the grand awakening of what this connection really is. And they are going through a soul clearing that can only be done in layers. Which is the reason for your separation in the first place. If you are the twin that is more spiritually aware then you must understand that you are to build your degree of light. Spiritual energy is earned. It does not come to you simply through chanting mantras, following a certain diet or guru. It is your connection with the divine creator, the God source that created you. And when you assess the knowledge of that light and you learn to work with it and to pull it down with, into your physical being, your higher consciousness, which is also known as your I am presence, also your higher mental body, the highest side of yourself, will begin to move closer to the physical and as you become more dedicated to your path and your spiritual growth, it will begin to take over working through the doubt, the insecurity, the fear that dictates the majority of the behavior patterns on this planet. So your goal during this time of separation should be to look at the cycles that you have continually repeated and to understand them and to know that you have been in a holding pattern and that you can indeed break that pattern through assessing your highest level of consciousness. So it is time for you to build that degree of light, which is like money in the day. The more that you work with it from the level of the heart, and I don't really like to use the word work, I prefer accept, open, open the heart to that beautiful ray of sunlight, the light of God 
never fails. It is all perfection. It is all that ever was and ever will be. Open your heart right now to it. Let go of the grief. Know that no matter what the circumstances are of this separation, you have a divine purpose on this earth. And it isn't time for you to give up or to succumb to the doubt and the fear that is continually projected. The light of God never fails. The light of God never fails. The light of God never fails. I am one with God. God is in me. Where I am, God is. This is your ultimate source when you speak the words, I am. I send you so much love and many blessings.